Well, the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, is in trouble again as a new report and investigation has officially confirmed that he and his office, in fact, did lie about ULES, the ultra-low emission zone, and the benefits of ULES, the cash cow scheme that basically monitors your behavior, taxes you for leaving your own house, for driving in Greater London. It's not even London, it's out all of London. Well, we already knew this, but it's nice that we finally got some confirmation. So basically, they had these adverts uh, around TFL, Transport for London, all the train stations, lying to the public about the benefits, saying, oh yeah, it's, it's helping us living longer or whatever. <laughs> but now we got this investigation that was actually launched earlier this year, only after so many people in London decided to complain uh, to the watchdog, the advertising watchdog. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't have actually done anything about it. <clears throat> this is about the exaggerated claims uh, from TfL and, and, and the mayor of London's office uh, that uh, the Euler's scheme would clear up the capital's air quality. Now, the ASA, the Advertising Standards Authority, uh, criticized the TfL for misleading claims about the expansion of ULES zone. I don't know why they call it ULES zone, it's called ULES. The Z is literally zone, but okay, <laughs> ULES zone, ULES zone zone. Um, reducing levels of uh, poisonous nitrogen dioxide particles. The ASA draft recommendations will come as a huge embarrassment for both TfL and Sadiq Khan, the organization's chairman, after £9 million was spent on a marketing blitz. Nine million pounds for adverts. How? Why? It, on what ground? This is what, what we're dealing with. You know this map. The, the centre part, that's central London, that's the original ULES, and then, of course, the rest of it, the pink section, like the pink section, is Greater London. Now, the problem with that is that you look at the border, it gets to essentially outside of London. So just because it's called Greater London doesn't really mean it's London. And that's just because, because of the, the boundaries that's been set a few years ago. But all those areas, the green and nice and pleasant land, uh, that you know, basically five people live there and four of them have cars, the mayor of London claims that pollution is really high there. And he thinks we're idiots. But now it's been confirmed that he's the idiot one, not us. <clears throat> The claim, the advert uh, that they've been putting out claim that uh, Euless had seen almost a halving of levels of nitrogen dioxide. Most air pollution related deaths uh, actually occurred in outer London. That's what it said, right? And that Euless had made a significant difference by helping to reduce harmful nitrogen dioxide pollution by nearly half in central London. They still don't do anything about the toxic dust in the London underground and the tube, apparently that's fine. According to the mayor of London, it's fine. You can just go and breathe it. <laughs> now, following this uh, investigation, it found uh, the ASA found uh, the two adverts were misleading because they did not clarify the claims that the NO2 by nitrogen uh, the, the levels had reduced by nearly half as a result of ULES and were based on estimates or modeled scenarios, not actual figures. You do realize what this means. This is the lockdown days all over again when they're coming out with their co computer models predicting what's going to happen if we don't stay at home. <laughs> it's the same thing. They're using scenarios, worst case scenarios with their modeling and thinking that we're going to fall for it. Well, not anymore. People are waking up to the lies of the establishment. Share this video. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.